Hello everybody, I'm Jamify. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow on Instagram and join my Discord server. The links are all down below in the description. Anyways, today's video is all about my three favourite films. So let's begin. I'll start off with my third favourite, then my second favourite, and then my first favourite, okay? So, coming in at number three is Godspell, the DVD version, made in 1970. Now this DVD I bought since Dan, a moderator of the channel, right, he bought it, he watched it, and then, well, I bought it off Amazon, right? Now, when we did Godspell, I mentioned, like, the whole process of the show, from just learning the script, to dancing, to singing, from get, actually getting the part, right? The awkwardness I made when I kept thanking the, the narrator once I had the part, right? And you can see all that by here, in this series I made, okay? Now, this DVD reminds me of when I played Jesus. Now, at the time, it was scary as hell, because it was my first proper time that I had starred in a show. Obviously, prior, I had been in shows, but I was always just a background character singing and dancing, right? And that's obviously excluding primary school shows, because they're, they're rubbish. Right? Anyway, so the DVD version is slightly different to how we performed it. Like, for example, a few scenes in the, in the DVD, they were moved around from how we did it. But I will never forget the show, right? And I can remember trying to watch this film and going, so that's going to happen next. This scene's going to happen. But then something else happened, and I got really confused. Right. But in one way, it kind of made more sense the way that we switched around the scenes. Right. Plot wise. But anyways, the reason it's only third is because after watching the film and acting it out, singing it, learning it all and everything to do with learning the show. Right. It all gets a bit boring. Right. The story and the characters. Right. But then you could say that about any other DVD or TV show. Now, coming in at second is Nativity 2. Now, as the title suggests, it's a Christmas film, right? It's featuring Mark Wall and David Tennant, right? Now, this film is hilarious and it's just, it's so unique, right? It is. Now, the true fact, right? This film was the very, very first reason that I wanted to become a proper actor, right? Now, before I'd watched this film, right? Before I had watched it, I did still have drama lessons. But it was the film that proper changed me into wanting to pursue drama even further now there are morals but they're not forced upon you like other films right however it's only second because the films do tend to take the same kind of structure you have a new teacher coming to the school and then mark wall and the students and the teacher they won't get along for some point but then this new teacher will be forced along a different trip right to, whether to see a baby being born to see a farm etc They'll be forced to go on a trip, and another example is the song for Christmas. Then they get lost, they get fa they find a new way there, they win, and things work out better for everyone. Now, granted, right, in the first film, Mark Wall is the new teacher, right, and also the first three films are decent, because they do change up, like, certain parts, even though they do use the same structure, right? But it does get a bit predictable because you know that everyone's going to win and be happy at the end. Right. But it's a Christmas film and everyone should be jolly. So that's fine. And now at number one. Now this film, is, it, was, it was difficult because Nativity 2 and this film are both amazing. And this is a bit biased because I haven't long watched this film. Right. But it, it's Rocket Man. Right. That's right. Rocket Man. Not Nativity 2 because as much as I love David Tennant... <laughs> Rocket Man is just amazing. Now, I can't say this man's name. Taron Egerton, right? He's a fantastic Elton John. The film is so strong. And instead of just lip syncing the person's songs, like, like, like for example, in Bohemian Rhapsody, right? The person playing uh, Freddie Mercury just lip syncs the songs. Taron actually sings like Elton John. He spent time practicing singing like Elton John. And Elton John himself... Uh, helped to make this film helps to make this film possible right and also they tried to have in this film parts that all the parts that were kid were not kid appropriate to be cut out for the film to be a pg-13 but elton himself even said that he has not led a 13 a pg-13 life right and what i find is when a film shows all the good and a bad and bad parts of a person like in this film it does it shows elton as a good person but also when he did bad things like taking drugs and stuff like that, it makes the audience relate to this character more because yes, he's Elton John, he's amazing, but he's not perfect. And it reminds you of that, 
And that's why I love this film so much. Now, you might, you might agree with, with this list. You might disagree. Let me know down below what your favourite film is, right, and why. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. Have a good day. Don't forget to drink hot chocolate and goodbye.